In July of 2015, I made a video examining a game called Natsuhiro High School. I searched the game for features that would be beneficial to include in Yandere Simulator. I've always thought that Yandere Sim would benefit from having a small town, and Natsuhiro High School allowed me to demonstrate what this might look like and explain how it could improve the game. After I named the pros and cons of having a small town, I asked the fanbase to vote on a poll and tell me if they wanted this feature. 61% of people voted to include a small town in Yandere Simulator, even at the cost of delaying the game. It's been almost two years since I made that video, and I haven't really addressed the subject since then. I put a small town model into the game as an experiment, but I haven't touched it in a long time. Today, I'd like to reanalyze the concept of adding a small town into the game, and ask if we really need it. First, I'll describe some of the benefits of adding a small town. A small town could provide stores to buy useful items from. A small town could provide weapons that cannot be obtained in a school. A small town could provide the opportunity to work part-time jobs to earn money. A small town could provide more ways to dispose of corpses, such as dumping them into the ocean. A small town could provide a wider variety of locations where players can stalk senpai and rival girls. A small town could provide lots of elimination methods that wouldn't be possible in a school, such as pushing a rival in front of a train. Potentially, a small town could also allow for side missions on the weekends, where Yandere-chan must sabotage a date that Senpai is having. A small town could also provide lots of fun ways for the player to earn useful collectibles, instead of just finding them on the ground at school. And, most importantly, a small town would prevent the player from feeling like they are trapped in one environment for the entire game. This is perhaps the most compelling reason to add a small town to Yandere Simulator. There is one massive drawback to adding a small town to the game. It would add at least a year to the game's development, and the game is already progressing at a much slower pace than I originally expected. Yandere Simulator is almost too ambitious as it already is, so expanding the scope of the game even further might be a very unwise decision. I can't complete the base game and then update it with a town one year later, because adding a small town to the game would change many things about the game's design. It's not something you can just throw into a game post-release without massively affecting the way the game is played. If there is ever a Yandere Simulator 2, I definitely think that it should have a small town. But for now, maybe it would be better to keep things simple. However, before we completely give up on the idea of including these things in the game, allow me to propose a solution that would let us keep them. A single street. Many of the benefits of a small town can be condensed into one street. There could be a bookstore where you can buy manga, a salon where you can change Yandere Chan's appearance, a video game store where you can buy games for Yandere Chan's console, a supermarket where you can buy food so that you can feed girls you have kidnapped, a hardware store where you can buy tools that might not be available at school in the final game, an electronics store where you can buy things like the video camera that films one of your kidnapped victims, and a convenience store where you can buy cigarettes, alcohol, and condoms. You would plant these items on students to frame them for bad behavior. Of course, all of these ideas beg a certain question. Where are you going to get the money to buy all of that stuff? The street could also offer you the opportunity to work some part-time jobs. For example, Yandere-chan could work at a maid cafe. This might involve a minigame. It could be a memory-based minigame where you have to keep track of everyone's orders, or a reflex-based minigame where you have to avoid dropping dishes. One of my most favorite games of all time, No More Heroes, allowed the player to earn money through part-time jobs. In the sequel, these part-time jobs were 2D instead of 3D. 
If you're worried about part-time jobs taking up a lot of development time, we can make them 2D. That way, the minigames would require a lot less work from everyone involved. An even more simple solution requiring even less work would be to imitate the Persona games. The player would select a part-time job from a menu and some text boxes would pop up to describe what happens at work. The player might be asked to make a choice to achieve a better outcome, but nothing that requires skill or reflexes. An even more simple solution is that Yandere-chan simply receives an allowance from her parents once per week. No part-time jobs required. The player would have to be careful what they spend money on, because they would only receive money once every seven days. Maybe if the player saves up money for ten weeks straight, they'll be able to afford something super expensive that makes it very easy to defeat the final rival. Or maybe not. The street could also have a cafe and a theater where Yandere-chan can sabotage dates between senpai and other girls. This could take the form of a minigame. Successfully sabotaging dates on the weekend could provide benefits on the subsequent week. Violent behavior would not be allowed anywhere on the street or inside of the buildings. Walking into one of the buildings would be like walking into a store in Persona 3 or 4. You wouldn't get to move the camera or control the character. You'd just interact with the shopkeeper. With all of that said, adding a street and a bunch of stores to the game would still take time and work. Definitely not as much time and work as an entire small town, but it would add a few months to the game's development. If you want the game to come out as fast as possible, then we'd be better off just allowing Yandere-chan to use her computer to order things from the internet. It wouldn't be very exciting, but it would only take about a week to implement in the game. So, now that you've listened to everything I have to say about a single street versus a small town, I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. Do you think that a small town would be mandatory to prevent the game from getting boring? Or do you think that a single street full of stores would be adequate? Or do you think that the game doesn't need a town or a street in the first place? I'll put a few polls in the video description, and I'll pay close attention to your feedback. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.